Hey everybody, Joe Buddy Jimbo, back at it again, blue collar beer review, all for y'all, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just doing it all for y'all, all for y'all, and it's the hump day edition, hump day, yep, uh, so I figured I'd knock one out, I'm home from work, I'm clean, relatively clean. As clean as this dirty boy can get. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I got a cool beer. I haven't done one yet. Uh, I haven't done this one. I've done lots of beers. Lots. Holy Toledo. <laughs> well into the 200s. So I hope you appreciate it because my waistline doesn't. But like I said, I'm taking one for the team. Beer, collar, blue, you know, that thing, team. So, let's just do it, all right? It's just, a, we're going to do a quick one. This is Boulevard Brewing Company. Uh, Kansas City, Mo, the big Mo, Missouri. Yeah, Kansas City. Super Bowl losers. Home of the Super Bowl losers. And <laughs> this beer is tank number seven. It's an American Saison Ale. Now, a Saison is a pale ale uh, that is highly carbonated. It is uh, spicy and fruity. And it's supposed to be wonderfully delicious. And another name for a Saison is AKA, also known as a farmhouse ale. But Kind of the difference in uh, the the Saison and the farmhouse, where they kind of break just a little bit, is farmhouse or Saison's farmhouse. They used to be way lower in alcohol by volume. You know, around the fours, they would three to four, uh, you know, gravity on those alcohol by volume. But uh, the modern Saisons uh, have a higher gravity, higher alcohol by volume. So this is a modern. This is definitely a modern one because it's a baby beer. It's just a little tiny beer. It's a little 12 ounce beer, but the alcohol by volume, 8.5% alcohol by volume. So it's kind of a big beer. It's not big, big, like above 10, but it's getting up there. So if I'm gonna do a small beer, you know I like to do beer with a little bit higher gravity. And that is what we have here with old tank number seven. So let's do the double dump. We'll do look, listen, and smell. And um, yeah, all that good stuff. And then I'll do the old and uh, bada bing, bada boom. It'll be over and you'll miss me until the next one. But I guarantee you, I got a big one. I got a big monster rocker for Friday because, yeah, Friday's my birthday. So I'm doing a special birthday beer review on Friday, and I got a special birthday beer that I'm going to just pound. Or maybe I've got birthday beers. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's do it. Oop. That was a misfire right there on that one. Let's get that out of the way. All right, this, this, I think this is going to be good. I got a good vibe going here. I'm telling you. Ooh, look at that. It's highly carbonated. It's nice and clear. It's got that easy, it's got that big, quick head that's going to burn out quick. There's a little left in that, and I'll get it in there. But let's do a little, uh, you know, the things we have to do to be reviewing beer. It smells wonderful. It's fruity. Look that. Man, it really smells good. Oh, that is super refreshing smelling. I really like it. You know, it's, it's a little hazy, but it's got that nice pea color, that really bright pea color. 
it's not it's it's a little off putting i know uh cuz it's not really it's, it's kind of a beer color but it kind of has that uh, fruit juice kind of you know grapefruit juice feel to it but uh, trust me this is beer Ah, man, I love the way beer smells. It's just kind of, it's, each one is kind of different. And this one is, it's not super loud, but it's definitely fast. And you can see it's cooking down real quick. So, and you know, it crosses all the T's and dots the I's. So, I don't know what they say on the farm. What do they say on the farm? Let's finish this beer because we got to go to bed and get up early in the morning. This job sucks. <laughs> Don't get your arm caught in the tractor. <laughs> Cheer. No, man. I imagine working on a farm is quite wonderful. <sighs> Here's to y'all. That's got some fire to it. Oh, that is carbonated. Wow. It's really good. It's fruity. And and you can taste a little of that. It's the, I think you get the, the it's mouth forward with the fruit and the, the effervescence. It, it beats up the back of your throat when you're trying to pound it. It's got, on my cheeks, I can, I can taste a little of that that spice, and you can tell my voice is a little higher. That's, that's, that's tough to pound. It's super delicious. It's most definitely Jimbo approved. It's a wonderful beer. It's easy drinking. Well, I imagine it's easy drinking if you're not trying to gulp it down and it burning the back of your throat. <clears throat> but it is carbonated wonderfulness. So... Hey, have a wonderful, have a wonderful, have a wonderful rest of the week. Have a wonderful rest of the week. And uh, I'll see you on Friday. And, you know, leave a comment, tell a friend. Come on, I'm, uh, you know. <laughs> this stuff is really carbonated. It's great. I wish it was a big beer. I wish it was bigger because it would have been way f more fun. Or funner. More, f it would have been more funner. No, that's not correct. No, it's not. So it would have been more fun because I it probably would have broke my throat. <laughs> so, with all that being said, hey, have a great day. Leave a, leave, a, leave a friend, tell a comment, you know, whatever. Thumbs up. You know, I'll see you guys later. Yo, Jimbo, out.